Hello friends, welcome to Golden Career. Today we will see how to crack RRB officer scale 1 mains exam. Almost 30 days left in mains exam. Uh, mains exam is scheduled on 11th of December. So it's not that much difficult to clear the mains exam. What you uh, what you have to do is you have to be focused. You have to work hard. You have to study well. You have to give at least 8 to 10 hours in a day. <clears throat> Let's see the pattern of mains exam. Pattern is uh, almost similar to uh, BPSPO exam but uh, the difference is here is composite time of two hours there is no sectional timer and uh, there is uh, 40 reasoning questions and the marks is 50 it means 1.25 marks for each question and in GA there are 40 questions 40 marks it means one question of one mark and uh, numerical ability 40 questions 50 marks again 1.25 mark for each question English 40 questions 40 marks and weightage of computer is less there are 40 questions but the marks is only 20 it means 0.5 marks for each question another question is how should you start preparation how should you start your preparation I have mentioned several points number one is make daily plans you have to make your uh, daily plan you have to decide what you have to study and you have to follow that plan it because for selection you have to maintain continuity without continuity you cannot get selected in bank exam give enough time to each topic and each subject suppose if you like reasoning and maths but uh, you don't like english it but you have to give enough time for english too because without uh, uh, giving uh, time to each subject you cannot clear the bank exam because there is sectional cutoff too and suppose you score good marks in maths and reasoning but you don't uh, clear the english cutoff then you will not get selected even if you clear overall cutoff it doesn't make any sense so you have to give enough time and as you have already seen in IVPS PO prelims exam English was tough so again you have to practice a lot you have to read newspaper practice one to two puzzles daily practicing of puzzle is very important because uh, there will be almost 15 to 20 marks for puzzles and without uh, uh, solving the puzzle you cannot clear the bank exam because the weightage of puzzle is very high you have 15 to 20 marks so again practice one to two puzzles daily practice makes the man perfect and you will definitely solve the puzzle within three to four minutes in your exam if you start practicing from today read the hindu newspaper daily and learn vocabulary what you have to do is you have to read hindu newspaper at least for one and one to one and a half hour daily and you have to learn vocabulary you have to write down the words and you have to write meaning of that words in your copy and you have to learn at least 20 vocabularies per day and if possible learn synonyms and antonyms too and if not possible then at least learn 20 vocabularies per day and uh, while reading the Hindu newspaper, don't read uh, any Bollywood news or any local news, any masala news. You don't need or any sports news. Don't go uh, go for it. What you have to read is uh, number one is editorial section. It is very must. Editorial section is very must and uh, finance section. and uh, business section and if uh, there is uh, uh, any topic related to latest government schemes so uh, you have to read only these four parts uh, you must read finance and business section because uh, uh, the passes in English will be based on finance and business section so you must aware with the financial terms as you will not be able to understand the passes
read current affairs daily again as you are reading the hindu newspaper you are preparing your current affairs too you are making your english strong and you are preparing current affairs uh, uh, you are um, making uh, current affairs notes also so it's dual benefit to solve the question uh, simplification question uh, with the speed you have to learn square and cubes till 30 at least till 30 if you can learn more then it's your choice it will be beneficial but at least learn till 30 focus on basic english grammar if your basic english grammar is not clear then please uh, go for any ncert book and clear your doubts because basic english grammar should be clear while solving the while uh, spotting the error spot the error question in english section uh, there are 99 percent there are errors in basic english grammar and still candidates not able to find that error stay relaxed stay relaxed don't create panic and you know you may have some friends who are preparing for five years four years and still not get selected so don't worry about them and don't think any uh, don't think about uh, selection just be focused and you will get selected now last but very important point don't break continuity it doesn't make any sense if you study for a day and then you don't study for next two days or you study for two three days then again you don't study for two three days so you have to make continuity Now look at the important topics of maths and expected question the very most important topic actually most important topic is data interpretation it contains 15 uh, it uh, contains actually approx uh, 20 marks uh, because 15 into 1.25 uh, so it is very important topic data interpretation and if you practice properly because data interpretation is very easy they are questions related to average related to percentage uh, related to ratio uh, and uh, nothing else i think so you have to practice and if you practice well you can easily get 13 to 15 marks in this section again sequence and series sequence and series is not easy always and there are five questions there will be five questions but three questions will be tough and uh, it will consume a lot of time so it's better to leave that question but you can solve at least two questions very easily and uh, i will not say that go for all five questions because uh, it will consume too much time and uh, wasting too much time in a single question is not good in the banking exam again simplification five questions you can easily solve all five questions again all questions will be based on board mass rule some squares and cubes could be there ratio and proportion percentage and averages combined topics three to five questions again if you have practiced well you can solve all question but uh, if you don't practice the well if you haven't practiced well in that condition too you can solve at least zero to two questions profit and loss two to three questions at least you can solve one to two questions work and time again you may solve you may not solve sometimes questions are very tricky so you may not uh, you may not uh, solve the question so it's 0 to 1 0 to 2 time and distance again all the question will be based on mostly based on trains uh, the length of train will be given the speed of train will be given or uh, the length of uh, platform will be given there and you have to find the missing data again <laughs> there may be two questions and uh, again 0 to 2 you can solve at least you can solve one question i think permutation combination and probability you have to practice well in this topic because there are a lot of confusion in permutation and combination we will upload a video too for permutation and combination uh, but you have to practice from various sources again you may score or you may not score mixture and allegation there will be one to two hmm, questions for sure you may score or you may not score simple interest compound interest and certs and indices simple in si and ci 
SI is very easy. If there is a question from SI, you have to solve it. And I think you will solve it because SI is very easy. And CI is also easy. But if there is a mixture in both SI and CI in a single question, then it may be difficult. Uh, but at least you can solve 0 to 2 questions very easily. So again here 15 to 17, uh, 5, 22, 24, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 33. So in worst condition you can score between 25 to 32 marks in this section which is a good score. Let's move to the next section that is reasoning again puzzle this and this uh, I will count sitting arrangement in puzzle uh, 10 to 15 uh, um, questions from puzzle and five sitting arrangement if you practice very well if you practice daily you can score all 20 marks in this section sometimes puzzles could be tricky uh, sometimes there may be three parameter or four parameter but if you practice well you will definitely solve the puzzle Again, logical reasoning, at least you can solve two questions, sorry, uh, two to zero. And uh, coded inequality, again, I will upload a video very soon. Coded inequality, solving coding at coded inequality is very easy. Uh, you can solve the question by just looking at the question. Uh, I will upload the video very soon and uh, you can score five out of five in just uh, three to four minutes. Code and decoding, again, three to five questions will be there and it's very easy. You must score 3 to 5. Blood relation. Again, if there is a, is a single question, then uh, it will be simple. And if there is a puzzle, then there will be 3 questions. If you know how to make uh, family tree, then you can solve all 3 questions very easily. And if you don't know how to make uh, uh, family tree, then uh, you may learn from our channel. Uh, we, uh, we have already I have already uploaded uh, the video. Uh, related to bed relation related to family tree you may watch it so you can solve this question very easily syllogism 5 never try to score 5 out of 5 in syllogism uh, because uh, two questions definitely in mains exam two questions definitely will be tricky and definitely solving those questions will be very tough and those questions will be very confusing so better to leave that question and solve only three questions so score at least three marks input output again you may score or you may not score because sometimes pattern is very difficult and even after wasting five to seven minutes you cannot identify the pattern of machine input and output so if it is tricky if you are not able to identify the pattern then it's better to leave the that question ranking direction alphabet test again if there is question then you may solve it very easily ranking and direction all are very easy questions alphanumeric is again very easy so here 20, uh, 22, 5, uh, 27 and 3, 20, 30, 31, 3, uh, 34 and 30. So in at any cost you may solve at least 30 to 35 questions again very good score if you can score 30 to, if you can solve 30 to 35 questions v one more thing accuracy is very important it doesn't if suppose if you have solved all 40 questions but 10 are wrong it doesn't make any sense because you will uh, you will get negative marks for these uh, 10 questions so it's better to solve 30 questions but all questions with accuracy with 100 percent accuracy Let's move to the next section that is English. Again, it's a difficult section for most of you. Reading comparison, 10 questions. Again, it depends on your reading ability, reading skills. Improve your reading skills. Read newspaper one and one to one and a half hour daily. Read various editorials, write your editorial and uh, read English as much as possible. That's the only way to solve the reading comprehension, uh, comprehension easily. Uh, close test 10 mark. Again, 10 questions. Depends on your vocabulary. Read newspaper. Write vocabulary. Learn vocabulary. That's the only way to solve it. There is no trick in English. Para jumble. You must know the basic rules of grammar. You must identify noun pronoun uh, so that you can identify which sentence is related to which sentence. 
uh, again miscellaneous it could be double fillers uh, fill in the blanks it could be single fillers and spot there again spot there you must know basic grammar without basic grammar you cannot solve this section but if your basic grammar is strong and you know all the rules then you can score easily 7 to 8 marks in this section para jumble again you can score at least 2 marks 2 marks for first and last sentence you can identify first and last sentence very easily reading comparison uh, again the answer is in the passage so you can easily solve uh, get at least 5 to 6 marks uh, leave the vocabulary close test again if your vocabulary is not good then again you can score 4 to 5 marks again uh, answer only those questions if you are 100% sure so in English section at least you can score 20 marks easily not at least 18 to 20 very easily but again it is possible only if you practice if you read newspaper daily let's move the next section which is computer it's very easy uh, there is no trick and there is uh, several topics which are important uh, the internet concept history working environment application history of computers hardware software development system communication operating system security tool virus hacker number session this is not important topic there may be question or there may not be a question from number system ms windows ms office and network line ms office this section is very important you must know all sort keys there may be three to four questions only from short keys. I will upload a video regarding the short keys of MS Office. Now, most important part, part is GA. This is very scoring. Computer and GA is very scoring. If you practice, if you learn daily, if you read daily, uh, if you give 45 minutes to computer and one and a half hour to GA daily from today, then you will definitely score good marks in GA and computer. And uh, scoring good marks in GA and computer is very necessary to get selected in RRB offices scale one. Three to four months, uh, last three to four months current affair. Uh, start with September, September, October, November, and seven to eight uh, days of December. It's enough for our RRB officer scale one. Uh, banking awareness again, static GK will be there, static banking awareness will be there. Uh, you must know what is the monetary policy, what is IMF, uh, what are negotiable instruments. I will upload the video, but uh, you have to read uh, the banking awareness part two and uh, you have to read the current affairs history of indian banking industry uh, there could be one or two questions uh, regulatory bodies like uh, rbi sebi irda irda controls insurance sector pf rda fs dc fmc RBI history function there will be one to three questions from this section Indian economic questions budget basic and current union budget I think there will be no question from this part but uh, there may be one to two questions we cannot ignore international organizations like uh, IMF uh, there may be one to two questions where is the headquarter of IMF like this and government scheme this is very important uh, you must know what are the latest schemes other important concepts like basal uh, norms and microfinance, base rate, negotiable instruments, credit rating agencies, financial inclusion, uh, teaser rates, GAR, priority sector lending and all other relevant concepts. So you must know all these things at least give one to one and a half hour daily for general awareness. Now we will see uh, how should you study how should you plan your study uh, i am telling you this plan for an uh, average student and uh, you may give as i have mentioned here two and a half hour to three hour for english if your english is strong and your reasoning is weak you may cut in this section and uh, you may give little more time to reasoning section uh, so you can plan according to your choice and uh, according to your ability Read the Hindu newspaper daily, one and one half hour. This is must. If you are not doing this, you are definitely not going to crack uh, RRB exam. Again, I am writing editorial and uh, finance. 
business government schemes you have to read uh, these four sections it will be helpful uh, in current affairs also and uh, it will also increase your reading ability your understanding towards english learn 20 vocabulary daily while reading these sections write down the words and uh, write meaning search on google for their meaning and uh, write the synonym of that word write the antonym of that word and learn 20 vocabularies per day if uh, you cannot learn 20 vocabularies uh, at once then you may learn seven seven in morning seven in afternoon and seven in evening or seven uh just a minute sorry yeah then seven in uh, a night you can do this and you have to uh, do tennis for the questions daily tennis for the question visit various websites if uh, you are not getting enough questions then you may buy a book object to english by rs agrawal Objective English and uh, complete one topic daily. One topic means uh, noun, pronoun, adjective. So you may take any topic, but you have to read all topic in next thirty days. You can take any topic and complete one topic daily. Give two and a half to three hours per day to English, and you will definitely clear the English section with good marks. Now the maths. You have to complete one topic every day like percentage, profit and loss. So suppose you have taken percentage uh, on day, uh, you have started with percentage. So what you have to do is you have to look at some example. You have to understand some examples. Uh, you have to learn formulas and after that solve at least 30 to 50 pure level question from that topic. Don't go for easy questions. If you can solve the tough questions then you can easily solve the questions uh, of uh, clerk level or um, easy level questions easy questions you can solve so go for pure level question do one di daily if possible do two di daily but if not possible if you don't have enough time then at least do one di daily and also practice missing di there may be one missing di question in mains exam so this is all what you need to do in math section nothing more give one to one and a half hour daily and it will be enough now the reasoning section again you have to do one topic daily uh, one topic of your choice change the topic daily and if you have finished all the topic uh, before time then start with the revision do two puzzles daily if you can do more than two then it's very good but at least you have to do two puzzles daily uh, again one more thing i would like to tell you if you are writing an exam then if there are two puzzles or three puzzles suppose uh, one is linear sitting arrangement and uh, one is floor puzzle and one is circular puzzle one is circular puzzle then first you attempt linear puzzle then floor puzzle and then at last if you get some time then attempt circular puzzle solving circular puzzle is very tricky and suppose if there are some inside some outside then it's very difficult and if there are some inside some outside with two or three parameters then it's almost impossible to solve the puzzle in three to five minutes it will take at least 10 to 12 minutes so it's better to leave that question and go for linear and floor puzzle only g8 again as you are reading the hindu paper it will benefit it will strong it will make your gs section strong so reading the hindu newspaper uh, you will if you are reading the hindu newspaper you are also preparing gs simultaneously and you uh, revise current affair of previous days this is very important because you have to prepare ga from september month and now uh, it's 11th of november so september october november uh, september october, you are uh, you have to prepare from september then 
read today's newspaper and make notes and learn that questions and then revise previous days also suppose 1 to 4 september then 5 to 9 september so what you have to do is you have to read all the current affairs soon we will upload sorry soon i will upload a video regarding uh, banking awareness and regarding uh, general awareness for rrb officers scale one but it will take some time i think it will take uh, two to three days but soon i will upload video watch that video and it will be enough for your officers skill one exam 30 minute daily banking awareness uh, and uh, add one more thing 30 minute daily to static gk2 static gk is very important like who is the cm of uh, any state and uh, who is the governor of any state and what are the dams in any state number of dams which is the biggest dam which is the smallest dam uh, power plants uh, uh, wind power plant, uh, high, uh, nuclear power plants. So you must know all these things. For static GK is very important, and there may be six to seven questions from static GK two, and uh, any famous book uh, and uh, obituary questions. So there will be two questions from obituary. There will be one to two questions from uh, book and author. So you must read newspaper and make notes. For computer you don't need to do uh, anything uh, special what you have to do is you have to read at least 30 questions daily and uh, you can download the computer book you can purchase computer book from our website which is www.goldencareer.co.in but if you don't want to purchase any book then uh, visit various websites such google for uh, po question computer uh, computer questions for po and read 30 questions daily it's enough 30 to for giving 30 to 45 minutes for computer is more than enough and you will definitely score at least 17 to 18 in uh, computer section now this is the most important part you have to solve one mock test daily one mock test will have 200 questions and try to solve that practice test mock test uh, in two hours you may purchase practice set from our website we have uh, uploaded several practice tests practice test for clerk practice test for uh, IAPS PO mains practice test for SBI PO practice test for uh, RRB officers scale one so you may go for any practice set it's better to go for rrb but uh, if you want more you may also purchase a practice set for sbipo which is much uh, difficult as compared to rrb so solve one practice test daily and solve previous year paper go to our website log in your account if you don't have an account first create an account then log in your account after that click on free uh, there is a section named free material and click on that section you will get the free uh, previous year papers give online free, uh, free mock test there are various websites which provide the free online mock test before exam you must give at least seven to eight online mock tests so you will have idea about uh, your mistakes and the very important part is analyze your performance after each test analyze your performance uh, which question is taking much time which which topic is not clear to you focus on that topic this is very important section remember you have to solve one practice set daily it's very 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 important so i think this is uh, all about officer skill one exam and if you follow uh, these things you will definitely clear the exam and stay calm you will definitely clear the exam stay focused and read properly give 8 to 10 hours to study and then do whatever you want thank you very much and please subscribe our channel so that you can get notification whenever we upload a new video and please like the video thank you